It was a day dedicated to honor a doyen in the academics as dignitaries from different works of life converged on the J.F. Adeaja Auditorium of the University of Lagos for the public presentation of the book Uluwatoi Temitayo Gundikpe at 60, Audacity of Resilience. The book takes readers through some of the highs and lows the Unilag VC has encountered and how he surmounted every obstacle on his way to success by being resilient. The 12th Vice Chancellor of the University of Lagos, mentor of mentors, professor of professors, the man of the moment, Professor Oluato Intimitayo. Dignitaries present shared some takeaway lessons from the book. You look at the situation and what is happening in our nation today and throughout the world, you will see the, the, that thing to inspire youth are uh, greatly lacking and, the, and the, the way things are going, people are losing hope, confidence, even in themselves. So I therefore recommend this book, The Audacity of uh, resilience to our steamy youth and uh, to everybody here is a book that um, we really inspire this generation and we enable us to move forward. The editors of the book say they are celebrating the scholar's success, audacity and resilience even in the face of a dark cloud. Specifically, his friends, colleagues, and co-workers in this book being presented today are celebrating what they have described as the scholar's interesting and significant life, which centers on four pillars. His romance with nature and family life, his research orientation, his university's leadership and administration, and his relationship with God. Also present at the event was the Governor of Lagos State, His Excellency Babajide Sonwolu, who was a special guest of honor. The Governor who forwarded the book applauded the commitment and dedication of the honoree to service. If you read the book, which I'm opportune to afford and, and which all of you will hear today, it started from a very, very humble background with so much, so much humility right from his credo, right from his youth. And you can see that still being part of him till today. And everything that he has been, and like the Pope Chancellor had said, you know, he attributes everything to God Almighty. And that's why he has also said that it's actually audacity and acknowledgement to God Almighty. But when you say resilience, oh, he has gone through a lot. He has gone through a lot as an individual. And that's why the book is really not about us that are on this side. It's about the younger generation, it's about the university students, it's about the upcoming future leaders that are here seated. For them to see and to understand that the life of their vice chancellor, their current vice chancellor, is a life in which they need to emulate, is a life in which they need to reflect and know that with humility, you can go far. Thank you for coming, sir. And straight to the business of the day, the unveiling of the book. I am, by the grace of God Almighty, unveiling this book in the name of the Father, the name of the Son, and the name of the Holy Ghost. This book is being presented to the public today. It will speak 
meaning to the life of the readers. Look at the word resilience. It has so many meaning. Uh, but let me just say that to me, it's about determination, it's about patience, it's about consistency, it's about being focused, it's about knowing where you are going, it's about not listening to the noise, it's about not being terrorized by what is happening around you, it's about not being discouraged despite the noise that is going on around you, it's about not even being affected by name calling and all those things. So that was uh, what actually gave rise to that uh, title. The book was put together by four editors, the Deputy Vice Chancellor Management Services, Professor Lucian Obina Chuku, the Director, Institute of African and Diaspora Studies at the University, Professor Muiwa Falaye, the Immediate Past Head, Department of Mass Communication, Unilag, Professor Abigail Ugwezi Ndisika, and one of the mentees of the honorary, Dr. Temi Tokpe Onumiya.